I will today start our chatbot journey at the Faculty of Organization and Informatics. Uh, we are part of the University of Zagreb. Um, and our presentation has uh, three main topics, uh, improving student engagement and course completion with the chat uh, tool and the chatbot. Uh, second one is course evaluation with the chatbot in higher education, which is Goran's part. And uh, lastly, Diana will tell you something about usability and user experience of chat tool and the chat. Uh, focus is on differ and Hubert in this presentation. Uh, so our researches uh, were made uh, as part of the project EduBots, and uh, the aim of the project is to document and develop best practice uh, use of chatbots in higher education and to create a learning community of educators in Europe. Also, we have to document report uh, improvements of the chatbot applica applications Hubert and Differ after the each pilot. Uh, so on the next slide, you can see uh, members of our team. Uh, and I will now tell you something about first topic. Uh, this was the first research, research paper that was presented, uh, improving student engagement and course completion with chat tool and chat. Uh, so for all of you who don't uh, know what is the differ, uh, DIFFER is a chatbot application whose primary goal is to connect the students in an academic environment by employing the intelligent matching of the students and encouraging their interactions by creating sense of connectivity. There are three main pillars of uh, DIFFER, engaging students in social educational activities, uh, innovative way of implementing frequently asked questions for teachers and providing quality feedback to educators. Uh, Differ is available as desktop, mobile, and web version, uh, and uh, offers various uh, functionalities for students and, and educators. You can create course-related communi communities, or students can cre create informal ones. Also, you can uh, start individual or group conversations, start ice-breaking activities, and uh, create conversations around frequently asked questions. Uh, when we are talking about chatbots, uh, first version of Differ had a uh, but uh, had a body bot, and then in later version, uh, ch chatbot uh, was introduced. Uh, so uh, I will now tell you something about our first uh, first pilot, uh, which was conducted in summer semester of uh, 2020 when uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, started, unfortunately. And we use DIFFER on five undergraduate courses, uh, which all, all have uh, syllabus closely related to uh, developing re relevant IT skills. Uh, we introduced uh, DIFFER and explained the purpose of a chatbot application that we will use DIFFER as additional uh, channel of, of communication for students. Uh, and uh, for you as educators, uh, you have to invite students to join the community and make it with it especially in start by regularly posting topics and answering students' questions. Also, you can make short manuals or instructions if needed. Uh, I will now explain how was uh, communication in software engineering course. Uh, it was very vivid uh, community. We have all four ways of communication that are here on the slide uh, present. Uh, and on the next slide, uh, you will see how many uh, interactions were initiated. A total of 50,000 sessions were initiated in DIFFER. Uh, we had uh, approximately 150 users in community and in total uh, over 2,000 messages were uh, exchanged. Uh, so uh, teacher every week posted uh, some uh, topic uh, about uh, exercises or something that was actual uh, that was uh, on schedule for that week. Uh, so in next slide, I will tell you uh, something about uh, relationship between successful course completion and different use. Uh, our students that uh, participated in our survey uh, told that uh, DIFFER helped them in achieving better grades, half of them. And also uh, they reported that uh, DIFFER helped them in successfully completing the course and also to uh, be more active uh, in course activities. Uh, in the next slide, uh, 
you can see that most of the students used uh, differ several times a week. Uh, so we can uh, conclude that more frequent use of differ was correlated with slightly increased participation and uh, completion of course activities and uh, students were overall more successful uh, in their activities. Uh, on the next slide, uh, we analyze the role of DIFA and connect students with colleagues and teachers in the course. Uh, here we can see that students reported that DIFA helped them to connect with course teachers, especially because it was the uh, first semester of COVID-19 uh, pandemic, and it really helped them to, uh, to get some answers about uh, online lectures and everything. Uh, but also on this graph, you can see that uh, they reported slightly uh, not so good uh, results about connecting with other students and co about collaboration activities. Uh, but with, uh, with connection with uh, teachers are very good. Main findings of the study, uh, we can say that uh, DIFFER can be easily successfully implemented in uh, various contexts in a large with large group of students. Also, it is appropriate tool for fostering students' learning engagement. Uh, and uh, results also so show lack of peer-to-peer -peer communication and collaboration habits on different platform. Uh, for course activities, uh, we can assume that students use some other applications for uh, their students' uh, communication. Uh, next slide. Uh, we identified some challenges. Uh, Chatbot solutions, uh, as you mentioned it uh, in the panel discussion, they depend on being a part of the larger educational system to fulfill their full potential, uh, rather than uh, being introduced uh, like standalone uh, solutions. You can find more uh, of this research on uh, uh, this link that will be available later. And some concluding remarks. Uh, a student recognized differ uh, as a valuable tool for successful course completion, uh, and uh, they evaluated uh, it strongly positive uh, for improving communication with course teachers. So differ can be considered as a safe environment where uh, students can express their uh, thoughts without being judged, and that's the one of the three pillars of differ uh, promoting it as a safe uh, academic environment. So uh, thank you for attention. That's it for the first part. And now uh, Goran will continue. Uh, okay, thank you very much Antonella for the first part. And I'm, I'm gonna briefly present course evaluation with chatbot in higher education environment. This is just one use case of possible usage of Hubert, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually that chatbot that was used uh, as a tool to make the talk between the student and the Hubert. On the right side, we can see a short uh, scr uh, uh, screenshot uh, of the conversation. Of course, uh, Hubert on, our, our, on its official website has uh, several different aspects how it can be used, but since we are here uh, focused on best practices of pedagogical chatbots in higher education, we are gonna talk about how it can be used in education. So of course it can be used for course evaluation and teachers can pick a template or create their own. If we choose to go with a template, it is a rather fast and easy setup to create. And teachers can use a QR code or URL uh, to invite students to fill out the survey. And uh, responses are visible in the dashboard. So on the next slide, I have uh, placed several uh, screenshots of the dashboard. Uh, where uh, teachers after the survey can analyze the results and see frequencies of most used terms or see the detailed uh, answers from students and make the further analysis and of course adjustments to the course. On the next slide, um, I have presented uh, the results of, from a published uh, scientific paper which summarizes students' reflection upon courses uh, which were collected uh, with the use of Hubert, uh, which enabled a dynamic conversation uh, with students by the use of chatbot. Uh, of course, they could uh, express personal experience and uh, better in, uh, that enabled better in interpretation of student feedback. The sample size was 69 students from the University of Zagreb and the survey was conducted during the COVID pandemic. 
uh, in the survey we used uh, Brown and Clark six-step recursive framework and on the next slide uh, I presented the results from positive and negative aspects of the course. Uh, Diana, please next slide. Okay, thank you. And here we can see the positive and negative aspects um, of the course, which were identified by students. Here we can see that the uh, majority of the um, collected results are actually positive, but of course it depends on the course and the student group. On the next slide, uh, I prepared a short slide with course suggestions for improvement, which of course are going to uh, be different from course to course, but those uh, results can be uh, of great help uh, to teacher, especially when we want to improve our course. So at the end of the course, this is a good element to apply. And for the last slide, um, I place tips for course evaluation when we are using chatbots. So a good element is to create questions that are short clear and cover both positive and negative aspects within a course so we shouldn't focus just on one element of course we can use the template but we can further drill down some aspects that we want to further explore with our students uh, it is good to use five to six open type questions so students can express themselves freely and we should time that chat to be up to 10 minutes. It is not a problem if it's shorter, if it's two, three or five minutes, but if it takes longer, students might just close the, the chat. Uh, ask twice, uh, so the chatbot uh, should imitate real life conversation. This functionality is, is actually implemented within a Hubert. So Hubert is going to ask some elements uh, in a different way or ask the same question uh, to students so they so the tool actually double checks the answer or especially when some elements are rather neutral or have a, a di different uh, expression uh, and Two final marks or tips are, if applicable, suggest the help of some online translation, especially when English language is not the native language for students. So this is the way we usually apply the, the use of Hubert. And don't forget to test the chat, of course, because when we either apply the template or create our own, sometimes some technical challenges might occur. So it is always good to test it. Uh, if you're interested to read more about the results, uh, here uh, on the slide we can see the DOI, uh, which is used to uh, mark the published paper. And at the in the chat, I have uh, published the URL, which leads to the co conference proceedings. So I guess Diana is going to take over. Uh, thank you, Goran and Antonella. Uh, well, my part of the presentation um, uh, will show you uh, actually uh, the usability and user experience of those uh, aforementioned uh, chat tools and chatbots, Differ and Hubert. Uh, so uh, from the perspective of the research project, we decided that we also need to evaluate usability as the uh, concept that refers to the user accomplishment of the tasks while interacting with uh, some, pro uh, some uh, product uh, interactive system or uh, service or, of course, application. And um, user experience uh, refers to, uh, uh, as, as well to usability aspect as a, a pragmatic uh, concept and also to hedonic aspect of the, uh, of the product use. Uh, and uh, uh, like uh, like its uh, emotions, possessions, and so on. Uh, so uh, we uh, decided to uh, uh, have a look at how uh, students, primarily, but but also teachers, uh, perceive the uh, chat chat bots and uh, chat tools. Uh, across four pilots, we had different focuses. 
Uh, but uh, primarily we uh, had focus on usability and user experience first uh, of differ in first two pylons. Then uh, later on Bo as a part uh, of a different, uh, so uh, Bo is, uh, as Antonella already, already mentioned, a chatbot implemented in the uh, chat tool differ. And the uh, uh, fourth pilot uh, uh, had uh, our research interest focused on Bo and Hubert. Uh, so I will show you our preliminary, preliminary uh, research results, uh, during which we used various tools to evaluate uh, uh, usability and user experience of Differ and Hubert. So for usability, we uh, used the SAS system usability scale. And later on, when we switched to evaluate Bo, uh, we, uh, Bo and Hubert, we uh, uh, switched to chatbot usability scale. And for user experience, we uh, used uh, user experience questionnaire. The responses in all pilots were uh, approximately uh, the same in, in numbers of the respondents, primarily from the University of Zagreb. Uh, the, uh, the exception was pilot three, when we uh, had uh, two evaluations, one at the beginning of the semester and the other at, at the end of the semester, because uh, we switched uh, to uh, Bo and used it uh, more extensively than uh, uh, than uh, in the first two pilots. So it was uh, very interesting to us to see if there is some difference uh, between uh, Bo as a chatbot and also uh, differ as a uh, application who integrates, which integrates uh, Bo. Uh, so at the beginning of the semester, we had 23 students and educators and later on the semester, uh, we uh, had uh, more students, about uh, uh, or, uh, 100 students. And uh, in pilot three and pilot four, also our uh, partners at the project, uh, University of Grenada and uh, Cyprus University of Technology, uh, uh, and that was supported by science, uh, also uh, participated in the uh, surveys. So from the pilot one and pilot two uh, uh, differ as a chat tool uh, evaluated by, by SAS uh, questionnaire, uh, scaled as a, a slightly above average or uh, average uh, chat application uh, uh, because the uh, evaluation tool positions uh, average application uh, uh, between uh, on, on the number 68 and everything about uh, about that is above average and ev everything below that is uh, is uh, uh, below uh, average uh, more results on that uh, particularly pilot one uh, you can find in our research paper uh, that were presented at, at he HCI uh, International Conference, uh, including uh, user experience of DIFFER. Uh, so the user experience questionnaire uh, consists of 26 items that are grouped into six scales uh, that basically uh, evaluate uh, pragmatic uh, uh, usability and uh, prag sorry, pragmatic aspect uh, of the uh, uh, of the tool, uh, also uh, hedonic aspect of the tool and attractiveness as a, as a uh, excluded uh, 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 category. Uh, so uh, as you can see from those two tables, uh, uh, most uh, of the uh, attributes that were arranged on the, uh, uh, that were arranged on the differential scale uh, uh, get, uh, get uh, good marks uh, as uh, uh, as uh, um, uh, get good values. Uh, for for example, attractiveness, uh, which stands for overall impression about the product, then perspicuity, which measures the learn learnability of the product, then efficiency, which which measures efficiently of interaction. With the product, uh, then the dependability levels of control of the product. Uh, these all, all get uh, uh, great uh, good values. 
uh, but stimulation and novelty didn't get so uh, so great uh, rather neutral uh, rather ne neutral uh, evaluations uh, uh, because students didn't see uh, uh, the tool as a very uh, very innovative or uh, or for example very motivating in the uh, pilot tool where Bo was introduced, uh, we see that uh, there is a race in a uh, novelty uh, scale. But uh, later on, uh, when, when we sum, uh, sum up all those scales, we see that hedonic quality is still uh, on the neutral side, not, not on the uh, good side as attractiveness and pragmatic quality. In the pilot tree, we switch focus uh, to usability and user experience of Bo. Uh, but uh, probably because of the low number of responses, uh, we also get uh, uh, somewhat lower uh, SAS score. And uh, this was also identified in uh, user experience questionnaire scales. Uh, so that is a thing we didn't uh, deeply uh, analyze. So th that will be our future work to, to see uh, and uh, also compare it with previous and uh, further pilots that uh, uh, we conducted in the, uh, our project. Um, in the pilot three, uh, focus was on the usability of both, but we uh, change uh, our instrument and uh, have used chatbot usability questionnaire, uh, which has been found uh, to uh, have, a, uh, have a, uh, uh, that measures similar aspects of chatbot as uh, uh, SAS, but also as uh, uh, user experience questionnaire. And you can see from the answers of, on the scale from one to five that there are a lot of uh, aspects of chatbots uh, both that was uh, the, that uh, get higher high grades. For example, the chat was very, was very easy to use, was usable, in, appropriate and informative. Uh, uh, chatbot explained its scope and purpose well, was welcoming during initial setup and so on. And uh, for the uh, fourth pilot, we also uh, evaluate usability uh, of Bo, but uh, I choose to uh, present you usability of Hubert. Hubert actually get a little better uh, marks than Bo, for example, uh, this one that, uh, that uh, says that chatbot was very easy to use, was easy to navigate, well explained the scopes and purpose, was welcoming. Um, actually, results are uh, pretty the same, but uh, our next research will be to compare the results across the pilots. And for the last slide, there, are, there were also several comments for, from students at the end of the surveys. Uh, well, DIFFER uh, was slightly uh, less, uh, we present both uh, bad and good comments, uh, but DIFFER uh, was uh, somewhat less, uh, less preferable because students already use uh, other chat tools to, communi to communicate with each other. Uh, so uh, from uh, that part, Hubert uh, was uh, one tool that uh, looks different and uh, they, they uh, like it better if you, if you look at their comments. Uh, so uh, uh, as a conclusion, uh, differ uh, or chatbot bot within differ should uh, actually implement additional functionalities to uh, uh, to uh, also uh, answer to student needs, but not just uh, but not just to student needs, uh, but also to the uh, educator needs. Uh, since we hear from, uh, for example, all earlier presentation. Uh, the need, those needs aren't identified and uh, they will also uh, help to uh, that the differ and Bo is better perceived when they, uh, when, when they uh, will be upgraded with new, new functionalities. Uh, of course, every research has limitations and uh, one of our limitations are uh, small si uh, respondents, uh, sample size and also majority of our respondents was from uh, our faculty. 
Uh, well, that is uh, all from uh, uh, FOI, Faculty of Organization and Informatics. And if you have, Gwen, uh, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to ask. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much, Antonella, uh, Gora, and Diana, for this great presentation and great research you have been doing over the last two years. Uh, very interesting, also from a from a provider's point of view, to see uh, how the own application performs in different settings amongst different uh, students and educators. Um, if there's any question from any participants, we might be able to take one. Otherwise, we would move on to the next um, to the next talk. Um, no, I don't see any questions. In case there will be any questions coming up, uh, please uh, be so kind and answer them uh, within the Q&A function uh, so that people uh, have the possibility to gain from your answers. Thank you very much.